Hi friends! Google Drive is used to store files in the cloud so they can be accessed from anywhere. You can use any of your Google accounts to access Google Drive. We recommend you to follow the steps shown here in this video only after watching part 1 of this video. Here's how it continues from part 1. To create a document, click on the New button and then click on Google Docs. A new tab will open in Internet Browser. Google Drive saves the document right as you work on them. To rename your document, click on Untitled Document. Give a name to the document and then click on OK. Now, start typing in your document. Just like in Microsoft Word, here also you can see formatting options in the top bar. Select your text and you can change the font type, font size, and you can also make the text appear in bold or italic. You can also change the color of the text and set the alignment. Click on More to view more formatting options. To undo all the formatting changes made by you in the document, click on Clear Formatting. If you want to share this document, click on the Share button at the top right corner. Enter the email address of the contact with whom you want to share the document. You can also choose the permission settings from the drop-down. Enter the note if you want to add, and then click on Send. Now this file will be visible in the Shared with Me section of the Invitees Google Drive homepage. If you want to add a comment to your text, select the text to which you want to add a comment. Right-click on it and then select Comment. A little box will appear on the right side of the document. Add your comment and then click on Comment. When action has been taken on the comment, you can click on the Resolve button. If you want to see a comment after it's been resolved, just click on the Comments button. You can type as much text as you want and the document will be saved automatically. You can close your document and find it in your My Drive section. Just double-click on it to open it. You can see that all the changes made by you in the document have been saved. Now close the document. To continue with the steps to use Google Drive, watch part 3 of this video.